Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your reading for you for the month of April. Mm -hmm. So please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. Okay. You might check your other placements. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for a more complete picture. Or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. You have the round and round card, which is a wonderful card. Um, when I first saw this card, I thought, oh no, that means I'm in another cycle. That's not what that means. It actually means the opposite. It means you've stepped out of a cycle that you've been in, and now you can look down on it like from a bird's eye point of view and see the bigger picture. So this is an absolutely awesome card to get. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, I have this set for the entire month. However, energy being what it is, you know, it can last longer because um, energy does pretty well what it wants. Mm -hmm. Another very nice card, the Stag Spirit. It says for you to take the lead. All right. Let's get another card, and then we'll get your overall energy. And see what's going on with that. Anxiety. Uh-oh. Well, I'm sure that means a clarifying card. Okay. Let's see what your overall energy is. And then we'll go right into the reading, okay? Let's see. Okay, here we go. The Three of Air. Great sadness that will heal with time. Let go of the past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings and or being there for those in need. So it could be any or all of the above, okay? This is similar to uh, the Three of Swords. And um, one thing you can say about that energy is that it is temporary, okay? But like I said, we will get clarifying cards. After we get all the cards out. Okay, let's see what your first card is. Well, oh me, oh my. That's just kind of backing this up. It's the Three of Swords. So it looks like something is definitely hurting your heart. Mm-hmm. We'll see if we can find out more information on that. Okay. Oh, one more. No? Yeah. Okay, the Five of Wands. This can either be training or fighting, either one. Depends on the cards that are with it. And um, from this top row here, to me it might very well be fighting, but we'll have to wait and see, okay? Oh, wonderful. You have the sun. Yay. That means whatever is going on is going to turn out okay. Matter of fact, that's the, the best card in the deck. So everything will be cleared up and wonderful. Oh, me, oh, my. You have quite the cards, don't you? The double. 
Mm -hmm. That means there is something detrimental in your life. Or the temptation for. It can be unhealthy relationships, addictions. Oftentimes, if not most times, it's anxiety, stress, of some challenging emotion. Let's see what this has. Oh, good. It's got a, the Ace of Swords. And what this is, is a new way of thinking. Your mind is expanding, which goes with this card very well. Okay, the Queen of Swords jumped out. And the Queen of Swords is a no frills kind of energy. She's after the truth. It's all she wants is the truth. Okay. And here it says, you are going to be very happy and content with your life. Some interesting cards. Oh, okay. And here it says, you and everybody you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. So, okay, right here, broken heart. But you're having a new beginning, one where your mind is expanding. So, also because of this, you are going to see the bigger picture. You are going to understand much, much better. You're going to understand the truth, because that's what you're after. And everything is going to turn out fine. But we need to take some clarifying cards. Mm -hmm. See if we can gain some more information. Let's start with anxiety. See what is causing anxiety. I mean, to me, I can see obviously, you know, that. But I still would like to get a clarifying card for it. Okay, this is the chariot. You're feeling anxiety, or you were feeling anxiety, and you have a chariot, which means you have a goal. And you, it's a very strong energy, okay? You're very adamant about this goal. You are going to go for this goal. And you have no plans on being stopped, okay? Now let's get one for your overall energy. The three of air. Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles. And the Five of Pentacles, you are feeling, um, from the way these cards look out here, I would say isolated. Um, yeah, you're feeling isolated, left out. You know, it, it's... An energy where you have put yourself there by your thoughts, okay? Now, I'm not saying anything, nothing happened externally, but either way, you're in this energy because of your thoughts, okay, and emotions. Something could very well have happened that brought this on, but... What's going on here is your emotions have control of you, okay? Instead of you having control of your emotions. You're feeling potentially ostracized, um, scarcity, lack, something along those lines. We'll get one for this and see if that pinpoints it any better. But, yeah, it's, whoa, here we go. Lovers, okay. So you are feeling isolated, left out, probably because of your significant other. Mm -hmm. 
So there's been an argument. Well, yeah, right here says a fight. So it looks like it is an argument or something that happened that truly hurt your feelings. Now, like I said, the Three of Swords, that will pass. And it looks like there was a fight that caused it. Okay. But it's being clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. So this is saying, even if there was a fight, and I do believe it was a fight because of these cards, okay, that you're having a fortunate new beginning. So everything is going to be fine. And right next to that, you have the sun. I think we should get a card for the sun. I mean, you can't get any better than the sun. But I'm looking to see if we can find out a cause for the argument. Or, you know, what has helped to fix the argument. Just more information. Uh, okay. Well, we have the Nine of Cups, which is the very same card that you have here. And interestingly enough, we have the Ten of Cups, which is the very same card that you have here. So, no, it's not explaining what happened. But this is the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Okay? So, yeah, everything's going to be fine. Just fine. <laughs> and at the bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles. So, what I'm seeing in this is this might have been the contributor to the problem. She is a beautiful energy. What I love about her is her balance. Okay? So... This was from after taking these cards. So if I weren't taking any more cards, I'd put that down here. But we got to use this deck some more. So it's saying balance, which makes me feel like something happened that created a big imbalance. Okay, which, you know, would be kind of obvious if you have a broken heart. Things are not balanced. But everything is going to be fine. Let's take a card for the devil. This is a pretty strong reading. I mean, uh, you know, when it comes to the emotional side of things. And it's uh, quite clear, actually. Queen of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups is a mother archetype. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And she is extremely trustworthy in what she does. She does out of love. And why? It's because who she that's who she is. Okay? And that's clarifying the devil. So, um, it kind of goes along with this. You know, these underlying cards that are saying the problem. Sort of. A huge imbalance, right? But there's this big problem. And um, these cards here are saying it's with somebody you love, romantic partner, but it's a fortunate new beginning. So everything is okay. Here you have the sun and the nine and ten of cups, which is here and here as well. So universe is way of saying I meant what I said. So everything is going to be just fine. The devil did not have or does not have the chance to take hold of this relationship and it be destroyed or, you know, long-term problems. The Queen of Cups has come in to let us know that everything is fine because she is a beautiful, loving energy. Okay? Devil had no chance. Mm-hmm. 
um, this card was at the bottom of the deck. And this is talking about you being extremely tensed up. And I'm sure it's over this. And here, you know, you have anxiety. You're just wound tight. And so that might be where the, not temptation, but where the devil might have been trying to come in. But the love overrode this energy okay no chance okay wow this could make a story definitely okay let's um well there's not any need really to get any cards for the bottom row okay so let's talk about this well we already did but let's talk about it again for a second okay anxiety but you have decided that whatever this is, it's not okay. You're not going to stay in this. You get this chariot energy and you are going to go for that goal. And to me, it totally looks like you know this problem exists. Whatever caused it, not really sure. We know it's a huge imbalance. And you feel isolated. You feel left out. So... You're going to fix it. That's the goal. So you go in and charge forth however you do it. And everything comes out beautifully. And I'm sure it has to do with the truth. So there might have been something where you felt you weren't getting the truth. Or, you know, somebody wasn't telling you the complete story, something like that, where you felt that you weren't getting the truth. And romantic partner, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fight, but it results in a fortunate new beginning. End result, it's beautiful. You can't get any better than the sun. The sun is the best energy in the deck. It's full of love, joy, abundance um it's like miracles are normal with this card you know it is a shine your light kind of energy so to me what i would say is not only did this problem get fixed you're ending up much better than how it was before this problem this is beautiful energy and for a time you were very tensed up, which was getting you close to the devil energy, you know, being really detrimental to you. But love stepped in, so this had no chance, okay? Or has no chance. Sorry, sometimes I speak past tense, okay? So whatever argument this is, it will pass, and it looks like not only will it pass, but you're going to be strong, a stronger unit, better than you were before this argument. It's going to be beautiful. Everybody is going to be happy. Here it says take the lead, and it totally looks like that is what you're doing. I have really no idea what the argument was or is about, I just know, you know, what the cards are saying here, and it's that you feel isolated, left out. Um, which, of course, is a huge lack of balance. Anyway, the stag spirit says, take the lead. You are. And you, whatever actions you're taking, are right on target. And it also says here that you can see the bigger picture. You're no longer you know, kind of stuck in this narrow point of view. You can see and you know what to do, obviously, because everything is turning out beautifully. And the devil energy didn't have a chance. Okay? So, I would say just um, during the month of April, remember if you change your energies, these energies change. Now, mind you, nobody wants an argument they're not fun. 
but the end result, what this is saying to me is the end result is you as a couple or a family, whatever, you know, whatever this is for you individually, end up better than how you started. Okay. So that outcome is absolutely beautiful. But if you change your energy, all this can change as well. Okay. Let's get some cards from the universe. Wow, you know, this looking at this reading is just there's no you know, things that are kind of hard to understand or a little hidden. I mean, this is just blatantly there, obvious. So the impression I get by that is that whatever argument this is, is kind of the same way. You know, it's maybe instead of veiled or understated, it is going to be a real issue. And there's going to be a real definite response that is going to, you know, be on point and take care of the problem. That's the feeling I get from this. Yeah. So, devil had no chance. Okay. First card. Um, this is a midpoint energy where you have put something out there and you're waiting to see how it's received. And what this card says is don't just stand there and wait take action. And so I think this is just confirming what you already know or what you're already doing. Mm -hmm. You are taking the lead and taking action. Wow, Gemini. If something like that's going to happen, can it, you know, make it really short? Okay, just definitely confirmation. This makes three, three of swords. That is the universe's way of saying, I meant what I said, I meant what I said, I meant what I said. But also, you have the Wheel of Fortune twice, which is saying the end result is a brand new fortunate beginning. So whatever this problem is, Deal with it, which you are. Take care of it, because the end result is going to be beautiful. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, there is a tower. I don't know if we actually need this tower, <laughs> you know, to say that there's going to be this huge problem. But what this tower is telling us that we don't know is that the problem that's coming in is going to be abrupt which means it's coming in quick and it is going to create change. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, towers can be self-imposed or they can happen to you without you knowing about it until it's right in your face. So it's possible this is self-imposed, you know, and I could see that as being a possibility because if you feel like you're not getting the truth about something or something's being omitted, that should be brought forward, you know, you might be the one to say, hey, we got to talk about this, you know, that kind of scenario, which would be bringing on a tower, potentially, okay? So, yeah, um, this looks like definitely a challenging time, but I, I do get the feeling because it is so, um, to me, obvious it is so bold how's that that it is going to come on quickly be taken care of quickly and be done with quickly which i would say is a blessing because if you have to have a problem much better to get it done quick fast and in a hurry mm -hmm. don't forget take the lead you know get your goal get it going because now at this time, you can see the bigger picture. You're not seeing from this narrow little, you know, viewfinder. You can see what's going on. And do you remember, you had the Wheel of Fortune twice. 
you have the Ace of Swords where your mind is expanding, and I'm sure it's because of this. This is playing part. So whatever this problem is, it is going to be gone, and I think it's going to be gone quickly. And the end result is the sun and you and everybody you love are going to be very happy and content with your life. Times two. So again, this is the universe's what the universe's way of saying I meant what I said. Problem comes in, you take care of it, it's gone, and you end up better than you started. Much better, I think. Beautiful energy. Okay, let's get a chart. I think this is, I mean, nobody wants a problem, okay, or an argument. But this reading is so plain to see, to read, that I think the issue is going to be like that too. And the universe has been really nice. I mean, telling us twice about the Wheel of Fortune, twice about you being very happy and content, twice about you and everybody you love being very happy and content. I mean, they're definitely making a point of letting you know everything is going to be fine. Okay, let's get a turn. Oh, yeah, and not to mention that um, you have the Three of Swords three times. And here you have a clock tower. Okay? And what that is saying to me today Time. It is about time. It's about time. Mm -hmm. Time factor involved. Kind of almost looks like the tower. Yeah. But it's there. Time. This has something to do with time. Maybe it's me. Maybe it means something like. There's a timing factor. It's going to happen at a certain time. Uh, watch the time. Don't let this take a lot of time. Something to do with time. Okay? And what I would say, this is just in general. Don't let it take a lot of time. You know? The longer something lingers the more a person dwells and the more this has a chance to take hold. All right. So, yeah. But you have the chariot and the chariot doesn't dawdle. They have their goal and they are going for that goal. So I don't think that's going to be an issue. Anyway, Thank you very much. I do hope this all turns out beautifully. According to the cards, it will. It'll be better than it ever was before. Much love.